Need some last minute fantasy football advice? Then the boys at the Fade Route have you covered. Tune in every NFL Sunday to Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ. D and I give you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts or green light and fantasy sits or red light. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 every NFL Sunday during the season. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get the fade route. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ every NFL Sunday during the season. Let's run the option and give you our picks for the week. It is the option for NFL Week 11. And if you want to play along with us, you know what to do. Go to our IG account at FadeRoute Podcast. Click on our link in bio. Go to our CBS Pick'em League, also entitled The Option, and play along with us. Now, I had a rebound last week. I took home nine wins. I am still not close. It is still a two-horse race between D and the lovely Rita Sanchez, and the lovely Rita Sanchez is still narrowly ahead. Still narrowly ahead. Let's see if she can put some distance. Let's see if D can catch up. And let's see if maybe I can rise from the dead. Probably not. Because I'm 10 points behind. <laughs> in week 11. But here we go. Your Thursday night affair. The 5-4 and four Cincinnati Bengals go into Baltimore to take on the 7-3 and three Baltimore Ravens. Ravens. Gotta be. No T. Higgins. Yeah. Ravens. Pretty, pretty, and delete. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The 6 and 3 Dallas Cowboys go into Charlotte to take on the 1 and 8 Carolina Panthers. Frank Reich is resuming play calling. Cowboys. Yeah, it really don't, doesn't matter that Frank Reich is going to resume play calling now, isn't it? Cowboys, huge, 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 huge. The 6-3 and three Steelers go into the dog pound to take on the 6-3 and three Cleveland Browns without Deshaun Watson. Ooh, Steelers. Yeah, Dorian Thompson's getting the start. So, Steelers. Steelers on defense. Maybe the start of the week in fantasy. The three and seven Bears with Justin Fields under center goes into Ford Field to take on the seven and two Detroit Lions. Uh, hmm. Lions. Yeah, I think this is a mistake. I think it's a big mistake that they're starting Justin Fields. Right. Chicken and bread did enough in his time as a starter. I think I think you, you need to roll with him until he ceases to earn that support. But hey, what do I know? Apparently, you know, Matt Eberflus, he, he's got this. Three and seven, he's got this. The four and five Los Angeles Chargers go into Lambeau to take on the three and six Green Bay Packers. Packers. This is, yeah. This has Chargers trap game written all over it. Coming east, not playing great defensively. Brandon Staley, a shell of himself. Justin Herbert, like, all banged up. Yeah, I got to go with the Packers, too. I got to agree with you on that. And, yeah. Could this be the week? Could this be the week that Staley is no longer? Maybe. The 2-8 and eight Arizona Cardinals go into Houston to take on the 5-4 and four Houston Texans. Mm, Texans are looking mighty good lately, right? Texans are in the playoff spot right I'm now. I'm taking the Texans. 
Texans are in the playoffs right now, as of right now. I'm going to take the Texans too. CJ Stroud is for real. Kyler Murray was a one-week wonder, and he'll be looking to play Call of Duty on Twitch very, very soon. The three and six Tennessee Titans go into Jacksonville to take on the six and three Jaguars, fresh off that ass whooping from the Niners. Hmm. I'm taking the Titans. Hmm. Interesting. I'm taking the Jags. I think they lick their wounds and they shrug off what happened last week. They got beat by a better team coming off a of bottom. It happens. They need to identify what they need to work on because apparently at, at 34-3, it's a lot. The 5-5 five and five Raiders go into Miami to take on the 6-3 and three Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. This is going to be closer than we think. Antonio Pierce has something going there. They're not talented enough to beat the Dolphins, but this is going to be closer than people think. I'm taking the Dolphins, but within a touchdown. And it wouldn't even surprise me if the Dolphins came back to win. Dolphins nonetheless. Oh, let's get this one over with. The 2-8 and eight Giants go into Landover, Maryland to take on the 4-6 and six Commies. I didn't even need to hear who they were playing, Commies. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Kami's roll. Can you take the championship from DNZ? This year, you can play our football pick'em on CBS Sports and compete against us in the option every week. Check the link in our Instagram bio, Bade Brown Podcast all the details and to sign up then tune into the fade route every week to the super bowl for updates and standing bring it on we're in the four o'clock hour the four and five bucks go west to santa clara to take on the six and three san francisco 49ers 49ers yes indeed baker's gonna put up a valiant effort but it will not be enough Chase Young and Nick Bosa, they're swarming. They are swarming. The four and five, J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 go into Orchard Park to take on the reeling five and five Buffalo Bills. I was close to taking the Jets, but I'm going to take the Bills. They have to win this game, right? (laughs) Like, we, we said that last week about... We said that about the Giants and the Raiders. We said that about the Jets and the Raiders. You just fired a coordinator. Like, the Bills have to respond, right? (laughs) They have to. Or else they're in deeper shit than we thought they were. Bills need to show up and show up huge. Especially on the Jets' defense. And I think they will. I'm taking the Bills as well. The 6-3 Seattle Seahawks go into SoFi to take on the 3-6 Los Angeles Rams with Matthew Stafford under center. I'm taking the Rams. I think they figured things out during the bye. I'm going to go with the Rams as well. The Seahawks look like this year's Minnesota Vikings. They look like a paper tiger. They're good. They're not that good. They're probably a six or seven seed good, not the division champ good. Rams, pretty handily. Your Sunday night special, your boy, Josh Dobbs, and the six and four Minnesota Vikings go into the mile high to take on the resurgent Denver Broncos. Yeah, I believe in I, be- I believe in the Broncos. I'm taking the Broncos. I believe in them. I am I am going to go with the Broncos as well. It's a more formidable team. I, I just don't see this Dobbs thing lasting forever. Because eventually, you know, every 
every clock strikes midnight and every carriage turns into a pumpkin. This is going to be that week. And game of the week, hands down, your Monday night delight, a Super Bowl rematch. The 8-1 and one Eagles go into Arrowhead to take on the 7-2 and two Chiefs. Circle, bold, exclamation point around this game. Yeah, I'm taking the Eagles. I just think they're the better team. Regular season, Eagles. Yeah, I- I'm with you on that. I think the Eagles... The Eagles are going to be off of blood. And I think that they're going to get it. Now, the Chiefs will keep it close. The Chiefs will definitely keep it close, but they don't have enough on the receiving court. They just don't have enough. That's going to be their Achilles heel moving forward. But Eagles take this one pretty handily to get a little taste of revenge from the Super Bowl. And your teams on a bye. The Falcons, the Colts, the Patriots, and the Saints. Adjust your fantasy rosters accordingly. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications. And tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.